Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 3rd of October 2023. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your life and getting on with it. Uh, what's going on? I see, um, I, well, my comment is, um, I don't think politicians should be allowed to use apps like WhatsApp and Signal. These apps with end-to-end encryption that are private apps um, you know right now I think across the globe people have less trust in politicians than ever um, you know various inquiries I mention this because uh, Rishi Sunak has uh, oh he's had some messages go missing his whatsapp and you know apparently it was on an old phone and I've changed the phone and oh I can't find the stuff now but governments have the technology uh, they can license the technology of end-to-end -end encryption and just run their own servers. I can't understand why governments disallow all elected officials um, private apps like WhatsApp and Signal communications for you know government use. It seems outrageous. If for you know what we really need to to bring back public trust, we need greater transparency, and that means that. People sending messages to each other need to do so through a government-controlled server. Now, they can still be secure. The public won't see those messages unless there is cause to, like the inquiries that we're having now in the UK about COVID. And, of course, there was the January 6th um, committee in the US where messages had could not be recovered from various people um, because they were using the Signal app and things like that. Uh, I've never used the app, by the way. I have used WhatsApp. Uh, but apparently it's uh, got uh, it's quite strong encryption on it and difficult to break. So, uh, you know, in that situation, people will, are never likely to trust politicians because we just can't see in times of um, um, inquiries and where we need to find out what went on, why so many people died in, in the West. Fewer people died here in Asia where there were extreme lockdowns. Um, but, you know, the policies that were enacted the ridiculousness of herd policy, um, herd immunity policy, sorry. Um, you know, this needs to be investigated properly. Uh, and when politicians are either purposely hiding or actually, um, you know, hiding because they really can't find those messages, uh, we don't know. We, we can't tell, can we? Because they lie to us all the time. So we have no idea if it's true or not true. Um, so if there were a government uh, server that was storing all of this information, and there should be in each country, you know, specific to its own country, of course, uh, then that would be better than uh, allowing them to use those private apps. I mean, the information is still being sent anyway. You can't say, oh, it's less secure or something like that. No, the governments can license that technology. Okay, uh, that's enough. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. Now, this is a Tuesday, which uh, the Guardian um, has, uh, gives us uh, a, a, its medium-level puzzle on a Tuesday. But to be honest with you, usually the medium-level puzzle on a Tuesday turns out to be a pretty easy one. So let's see if today's uh, is an exception or not. I'm not going to explain the rules. Just go back and watch yesterday's game to get an idea about the rules. And I'm going to start with these nines, and that's going to give me a nine in that square there. We also have nine blocking across here, which puts nine into one of those squares blocking up there. The nine going up there and the nine across here means that there's another nine that we can place. And we have nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square. So in this column, that's the location of nine. And uh, that's as far as we can take them, I guess. Hmm. Uh, I saw something else while I was looking. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah. Six blocking down here, six blocking down here, and six across there. So let's have a six in that square, shall we? Um... Missing numbers in this block are 1, 4, and 9. We have 4 and 9 in this column, so that 
is going to be a 1. Three blocking down here and down here, and across there will give us three in that square, and the threes across and down here. Put a three there, three up to the top, up to the top, and here's a three, three across that way, that way, there's a three. Okay, that's three done for this morning. two blocks this square here we need a two in this column so that's the two this must be a seven to finish there Okay, eight blocks this square, eight blocks this square, eight blocks this square, and eight blocks this square. So here's our eight. Eight going across here, eight across here, up there. So we do have nine like blocking like this, and we also have eight blocking in the same way. So we have a pair of nine and eight here. So one blocks across here, that will give me the one there. And we know this is eight and nine, so this has to be two and four. So the four blocking will give us the four there and the two in that square. And down here we still need a one. four blocks this square up here so this will be our four and I think it's a two to finish the column uh, right where are we what's left to be done not a great deal I think there's probably something pretty easy Okay, one and four block across here. That puts one and four into those squares and means that this must be a five. Two blocks this square here, so in the bottom row that's our two and this will be our seven.
Okay, our six blocking this square, six blocking this square. So in this column, there's our six. And this would be a seven to finish the row. Seven blocking up and up here and across there puts seven into that square. Seven this way and up here means that that's our seven. Seven blocking across here gives us seven here. This is going to be a five. Five blocking this square here gives five in this column. This column finishes with a four. Well, it's making me look anyway, which is good. Um, at least it's making me look around the grid. Normally, don't even really need to look on a Tuesday game. I must admit, fives block across like this. That's going to be the five. So, you know, anything that slightly even impedes your progress, even for a second, is pretty good <laughs> for a Guardian Tuesday. Even if it's just a couple of seconds that slows you down a bit. That's nice four blocks this square here so this would be our four this would be a one that's a one up there the missing number here is six I want to say we also have six up here and across here so there's our six the last number to place here is a one the missing number here is two two blocking down here and across there there's our two the last number to get here is a one one blocking down and across there here's our one last number here is an eight eight blocks up here giving me the eight in this square eight across here means that's our final digit eight we're still looking for a nine in this square nine blocks across there's our nine last number here is a four we still need a four there and we need a four there and what's missing oh there's an empty slot up here for a two that's our Guardian medium level puzzle for a Tuesday. I'll be back with some trickier stuff than that, no doubt, later in the day. Bye-bye.